And welcome back to RadioCraft. I am the Radio Man 3 We are playing Minecraft on the Xbox 360. We are down the Skelly Spawner, which Captain Buck and I worked hard on through our troubles. We managed to get it working. Uh, TU15 came out today. Today happens to be Thursday, April 10th. So our bug patch is here. Look at these guys sitting fire all over the room. That is really awesome looking. <laughs> Uh, yeah, TU-15, so our bug patch is out. I don't remember the skeletons doing this um, for the longest time, actually, since the TU-14 update, but apparently we're right back to where we were before, where they're just going to be getting out of their area. That's kind of funny. I saved here uh, yesterday after uh, Episode 7, <laughs> and when I spawned in today, some of these guys were actually glitched outside of the uh, slabs that are holding them in. <laughs> it was not good. Oh, man. I had like three or four of them down here with me that were actually uh, shooting. Look at them all. Woohoo! We need a bunch of XP to... Uh, we're going to add that book to our pick. So I want to make sure... Was it, to, was it the pick we're going to add a book to? Yeah, the Efficiency 4 Fortune 3 pick. We want to put the Unbreaking 2 book. CJ gave that to me. We I think we needed 31 XP in order to do... Oh, you... Oh, don't do that. You guys are killing yourselves. Man, you get a bunch of skeletons in there like that, and they start, you know, shooting each other. And they already have, you know, full damage, almost. Why are they still... Are they still falling through there? Are those just leftovers that are... There's another one still in the room. Get out of there. Oh, look at that. 34 XP. Let's check their arrows and bones. That thing works great. I've only been down here for a few minutes. I just turned it on and stood here for just a few minutes. Oh, yeah, look at that. We got another bow. That one's enchanted as well. No, it's not. It looked like it was enchanted there for a second. All right, we got a couple stacks of arrows going. That's nice. Bones. We have a full stack of arrows, which is what we wanted. Uh, I forgot to give Captain Bucko his bucket back. We'll have to fill that up and get it back to him. Uh, we got four iron. Do we have any fuel in here. Oh, we've got some gold cooking in here. What do we got cooking in here? Is it better to do it with the, the logs when you cook with wood, or is it better to do with planks? Which one does one last longer than the other, I guess is what I'm wondering. I know I could throw the sticks in there as well. Take the XP off this gold too, might as well. We're down here. It's, it's a long ways away from, uh, from spawn, so we don't want to travel all the way back. No, we do not. There should be about eight of them here. Here they come. <laughs> Look at them spread out. <laughs> Why don't they stay in there? I guess it's just so many of them, huh? <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Stop it. You die. And then you gotta hit him twice. See, that the first hit takes him there. And then you gotta hit him twice. I don't think you have to hit the other ones twice. Let's get one in here and see. There's two. Okay, those guys should not glitch out of that box, correct? There we go. Grab that XP real quick. Okay, he's coming out already. Hmm. We'll have one in there test. Is this guy inside gonna be one or two hits? It might be two. We'll see. Yep, they're two hits. Okay, all right, nope, works fine. It just happens to be two hits, that's all. Uh, seven more arrows. Wow, that is some generous skeletons, huh? Generous, generous skeletons. I get all my iron cooked. Oh, there's one more left. How about a stick? Will a stick cook a whole piece of iron? No, it's not going to do it. Look at that, it didn't make it. Huh, interesting. I've never really messed with the different fuels. I mean, I've used the saplings and stuff, but I still think coal or the blaze rods work better. If you've got nothing to do with all those saplings, though, you might as well use them and burn them. Okay, so we got that stuff. So, you know, touchdown. Skelly Spawner is ready to rock and roll. I think what we should do is put a portal here and then uh, find a way to hook up with the portal to spawn is what we should do because it is 
it is a long journey. So let me get to the end of this and we're going to test a couple of those things on TU-15 and see if uh, we're doing all right. Number one is that nasty bug where you're pillared up on dirt or whatever you are and the blocks continue to reappear. The other one, which I don't know that we can really test because I'm the only one here and this world always loads really well for me, but the other radio crafters have talked about how um, the, the, the chunks just do not load. The map does not load for them very very fast at all and sometimes not at all so that's something we'll have to wait and see uh, what uh, what happens with that we'll ask them when they get in here okay something else I've noticed the uh, when you hit the Y button your first item in the inventory is not being shot up into your storage area there it's staying on the hot bar because I do that and my sword boom it would be gone so it looks like that was one of the bugs definitely they said they were going to fix and it looks like they did i've done this i don't know 30 times and it's not done it once so that's good um it's raining right now so what i'm going to do is wait until the rain stops or wait till nighttime and sleep and then we'll continue the episode once the rain is gone of course <laughs> It stops raining just as it turns night. <laughs> I kid you not. I've been standing here waiting, 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 and then it finally does it. Oh, man. I welcome you back, my epic Minecraft friend. Let's, uh, let's, let's jazz this pickup, our final of three amazing, awesome, outstanding picks. Let's do it. Um, 11, of course. Of course we're going to do that. Yeah, 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 yeah take it from here still getting used to that i love it though it's awesome now can we name it what are we going to name that thing unbreaking fortune three efficiency four tag team gaming suggested something like money bags but i think <sighs> um i was, I was going to go with multiplier to kind of go with our our theme of our names so far you know we've got crusher we've got the replicator so I think the multiplier sounds good since it's got the, uh, you know, uh, Fortune 3 on it. Multiplier. Yeah, here we go. What's that going to cost us? 35! <laughs> Drats! Not today. I do not want to go stand by a mob spawner today. I do not. I do not. Silk Touch back. Look at that. By putting that, by having that in Breaking 3 on there, that Silk Touch is in such sweet shape. Here's our digging pick. Let's get our shovel on the bar and grab our axe as well. And let's, ooh, let's, let's go pillar up. That's what I want to make sure we did in the daylight. Let's pillar up and take a look. Oh, you know what? There's a couple of things I haven't shown you on the world real fast either. Let's do that real quick. So TU-15, so far it is standing up to what it said it was going to do. It has fixed some of the nasty bugs. Let's see how this works out. I think we'll go up, uh, I don't know, 25 blocks or so. All right. Now, when we did this a little while ago, when the TU-14 came out, the block would reappear. You had to spin in order to get the blocks to not do that. So far, so good, baby. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, indeed. That is nice. Huh? Don't they deliver? You know? Yeah, we got some bugs in the game. We know we're going to have them. Tell, them what us, tell us what they are. We'll look into it, and we'll fix it. And voila, here it is. Awesome. Fantastic. Uh, the world looks like it is popping up quicker, despite the fact that's jungle. I do notice that it actually is coming up much faster for me now. I hope everybody else feels the same way when they get on. But yeah, that popped up real nice. Um, we need to run back here. Echo made a really cool looking uh, storage room back in here. Jungle wood. Those are the birch stairs on it. I think it's cool. And what I really love about uh, just the texture packs that are like the natural and this is that when you look through the glass, you can see inside the rooms. I really like that. I was noticing that while I was waiting for the rain to stop. Here we are. Isn't that gorgeous? Look at that. Just about every kind of wood mixed in here. It's really awesome looking. It is every wood. It's really incredible. 
You got furnaces, you got some storage. We're, we're getting things moved over slowly, but surely just a little bit of wood right now. But uh, I don't know if we've even got much at all in here right now. I think what we've got is mostly stone in here. I believe we've got repeaters here, redstone here. I started the glowstone here because I figured that was part of the electrical. I almost felt like this room was feeling kind of electrical with that stuff in it, so I put the glowstone dust in there. But then here you can see he has dirt representing these chests, so of course, you know, blah boom. We do have a stack that we could put in there. Uh, gravel, and we have some gravel as well. We can drop off 55 of those. Cobble. Uh, we took a little bit out of here. We'll put that in there, and let's see, and boom. So several rows for cobble, which is a great idea, of course. Here we have our nether brick. Beautiful. Over here, stone. I really love how he's got it laid out. It's very awesome. I didn't notice the first time I came in here, but uh, Variety 3 noticed it right away. She's like, oh, that's cool. You've got the blocks that represent the chess instead of signs. Sweet. Sheer genius, baby. Sheer genius. Gotta love that echo. Yes, indeedy. All right, man, this is great. Things are looking good, huh? They are looking good. Looks like it's working. Oh, I wonder, do the pumpkins attach the stems? No, they still don't. Hmm. I guess that maybe that's supposed to be that way. I don't know. I've not heard about anything about that, but it's kind of odd. Seems odd to me. The rest of them all bend over and attach to the pumpkin. All right, we have been kind of on a stalemate on this here. We are going to put dormer windows up on the roof, but that's not what I wanted to talk about today. Um, yeah, this floor is not done yet. It's not done. We're going to have to get supplies and stuff. I think what we're going to do is leave this carpet down here, and then we're going to take this out of here, and we're going to remove all this carpet back here in this bedroom area, and we are going to cordon this off as kind of a different room that way I can keep my carpet out here because I really do like the way the carpet looks it's gorgeous I mean it's really nice to walk on it's very awesome it hides the lights got some weird shadows in here I think I've got a glowstone no I don't have a glowstone right there some of the lighting gets a little funky you know but uh, most part it was really a nice touch the carpet is a really nice touch so what I want to do is raise this floor up just by uh, one we'll do a slab across here and we'll bring this up by a solid block I think I'm going to use the uh, the dark uh, the spruce we're going to use that for the flooring and we're going to set everything up on that floor without carpet up on this level so we'll be up here our room will be up here we have a nice extra little level and we'll drop down and come out in the hallway here and we have carpet so I think that is going to be a great solution for what I was uh, worried about. So let me go ahead and get this carpet out. Let me do that. Uh, I don't think you want to sit here and do that with me, but uh, oh, you know what? While we are doing this, though, maybe what I'll do is I'll talk about another game I was playing, and and still am. I haven't played it much this week at all. I've, I've played a little bit of it. I think I'm like 16% into the game. Um, but <clears throat> uh, Batman, uh, Arkham Origins, very good. Very good. Sometimes I love those fight games. One of the first fight games like that I played, I mean, granted, I grew up with, uh, you know, arcade games, so we had a lot of those back then, too, but um, the game it reminds me of the most, I think, is um, uh, Blade. There was a game called Blade, and the, the fighting was, was similar to it. it. I guess it was similar is what I should say. It was, yeah, it seemed to be similar to uh, what Batman is. We're going to have to break this chest and scoop up all this good stuff. There we go. We're going to move it for just a little bit. Uh, there's the chest right there. Um, just the fighting style and how you go, um, you know, you the punching and the blocking and all that. I just really enjoy it very, very much. Uh, we don't need that there. We're just dumping this stuff in. And then we can carry on with the second floor here. Um... Anyways, I don't know if any of you have played that Batman game, but it is really good. I really, I'm, I really enjoy it. Every now and again, I throw it in, and I just uh, go to town on them, and it's, it's really fun. The flying, especially with the Bat Cape, oh man, it is sweet. Flying around, uh, you know, Gotham with like, like that, it was just so, it's just so cool. Uh huh. All right. Um, I tell you what, I'm gonna. Well, you know what? I've got room in this other chest over here to drop some of this stuff off as well. Let me clear this out. Let me get this floor cleared, and I'll grab some supplies, and then I'll come back. Okay? Okay. Okay. We are back. 
Oops, I knew that was going to happen at least once. And I don't have enough. Oh my gosh, I thought for sure I had enough of that. It's okay. Then what we're going to do is... Uh, that's just going to come out one more, and we're going to have these here. And the same right here. So you just step up into the room. I think that's a good idea. Actually, you know what I think these should be? is These should be the brick to line up with the uh, border on the edge of the room. Yeah, I think that should be stone brick. I believe we have some stone here, so we're good to go with that. Yeah, we do. Well, let's grab those and those. All right. Bricks, please. Bricks are down a little bit further. They're past the uh, quartz now. Yeah, there we go. There we go. I like that better. There we go. That trims out that room real nice. Okay, and then we could take our bed. And we've got plenty of ceiling here, so no big deal there. Let's go ahead and put our bed. Let's see. We're going to come up there. We don't want it... I think we want the bed over here, and we'll do a, a chair or something over on that side, I think. And then we'll put our chests and stuff back in here. Yeah, I don't think I have anything else I need to drop here right now. No, uh-oh. Okay. So yeah, I'll move the chest back over here, and we'll get we'll get this room all set up. Uh, finish the gray carpet around the edge. I also have to take some gray carpet down to the uh, zombie spawner and fix that up since uh, <laughs> we set it on fire. <laughs> I don't know. I've I've not talked to Echo to find out what it was that uh, what was the difference. Uh, I think it's got something to do with the, when the lava bucket goes in. I don't know. I do not know. But we want to finish this floor out this way. I am going to go with the oak uh, planks. I like them. They look pretty good. I think they look good. And it's a light enough wood down here too to to go really well with ice and stuff. I think. Indeedy, indeedy. So I guess I've been putting up a video about every day now. So I think maybe one day I missed this week. Um, but actually, I've, I'm uploading Episode 7 while I'm recording Episode 8 right now. So, um, yeah, they'll be coming out back to back. So I appreciate the uh, the views. I really appreciate that. I know some of you, uh, the first video for RadioCraft, the first uh, season one, did really well. And then it's kind of trickled off after that. So maybe some of you want to tell me what you'd like to see it done. Uh, I'm sure some of you want to see us get started on our base, which uh, we are definitely going to be able to do that very soon. I think probably next week we'll be heading out there to do a little work on that and get kind of a, a rough draft going, like a picture this if you will episode. We need something like that. Howdy. Howdy. How you doing? How you doing? So yeah, we'll get started on something like that uh, next week. We'll get busy with that. Okay, a little more wood there too. But that looks nice. You know, and like I said, we'll have him over here with uh, an ice display around him. And you'll be able to come up and, and use him for your, your snow golem. And we'll deck out this room with some chests and things like that. But uh, yeah, maybe we'll even have a couple more snow golems in here just for decoration. <laughs> we should probably have multiple snow golem uh, snow stations, right? What if, they're, like, what if there's like two people in here that want to get snow at the same time? So maybe we'll have to do that, have multiple uh, snow golem stations in here. Um, I think during the next episode, I want to have this more or less complete. Uh, this weekend, I think what we're going to wind up doing is I have plans to put a tree farm up behind the farm there on that flat land right there. Echo had started building there at first, and then he moved over there. Uh, so I think we want a tree farm up on that plateau right there, and that'll tie in real nice with the farms down below. So I think that's what I want to do this weekend. That's a weekend project. So I want to have this one out of the way by then. So like, comment, subscribe, share, all that good stuff. TU15 bug. Looks like it worked. Awesome. I'm the Radio Man 3 and I will talk to you again next time.